Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back once again with the At Ezer P10. Friends, today we're going to test it with my brand new vent system, so let's get cracking. All right, so if you haven't seen this yet, I have got a range hood. It's hanging via some rope, but the coolest part for me was that I 3D printed the adapter to go from 6 inch to the 4 inch so that we could vent it out the window. Friends, now let's actually cut something and see how cool it ventilates. Alright friends, so real quickly, most of my projects are designed for 4mm cardboard. I had these boxes that I was getting from my school. They had a single corrugation, so I knew how they would cut. Today, we are going to try and cut some double corrugated cardboard. This also comes in at a little more than five or maybe six millimeters, so it's a different thickness. So we will adjust my settings and we're going to actually see if we can create something pretty cool using extra sturdy cardboard. All right, everybody, so I have got the P10 connected. Let's import a design. I want to play with my happy crab, so I'm going to type file import. Let's go to search. I want to make sure I'm in 3D modeling. I'm going to type happy and put an asterisk and let's see if we can find the right one. The SVG file is right out here. When I bring this in, you can see it has got an outline that is a cut and it's got an inside that is an engrave. This is the size I use when I'm working with wood. Today, since I'm working with cardboard, let's stretch it out. Now, once again, if you hold control, it scales the same amount in every direction. So I'm gonna do that. And now I'm gonna move over to the laser. And now let's move over to the laser and get this aligned. So I'm using a move. And remember, if you hold down shift, it does 10 times as much. I'm moving mine out to this crazy spot because I want it to be in the camera view. You would probably cut a lot closer. Now you can see it is not set right now for this cardboard. Let's adjust that real quick once again one knob which is really cool I'm gonna get that in place I've got the metal plate underneath put down the kickstand now I don't have a good angle for you to see that but it flips down right here we'll drop it down in place there is my kickstand touching now I can flip the kickstand up we'll do a couple nudges to get this to the left edge Friends, I'm gonna hit friends, I'm gonna hit fire on the laser so that we can see the beam. I'm gonna make sure I'm set from current position. I'm gonna choose the bottom corner. I'm gonna go down one more chunk. Let's hit frame and see how that looks. That trace is pretty good, but I'm not on the metal. I don't think I care. I think I can cut through this without being on the metal. Let's check our settings. So on cuts and layers, I was currently doing 550, 100, and I was doing seven passes. I am not gonna do that. Let's check a different setting. Number 10 here, I've got 1,000, 3, and 80. I think I like that. And then let me click on the uh, purple ones. I'm gonna hold down shift. I wanna just engrave those. So I'm gonna switch, let's see what number 11 looks like. 2940 now since this is cardboard I think I'm gonna drop this down to 20 once again guess and check let me check my passes on that line the line is three passes friends it is time to grab safety glasses and then we have also got the extra step of turning on the awesome fan this makes it harder to hear me but it's gonna get rid of those nasty fumes there we are, level four, let's go. Alrighty friends, so let's see if we were able to cut through once again. This is my first time trying this double layer. No, we were not. Now I do like the etch and I can see that we are close. 
So let's do an adjustment and see if we can get through the second time. So as I'm nudging this over, I am going to tell you, this is amazing. Uh, that smoke is not in this room. Uh, my silly range hood trick is, uh, at the moment, pretty darn sharp. All right, so I have moved my cardboard. I'm going to nudge the actual machine. That'll be plenty good. I am going to come down one. Let's see what happens if we hit frame right there again. I'm going to do control nudge to move that up just a couple clicks. Let's frame it one more time because I was just off the edge. All right, so I like that. Let's go back to cuts and layers. And instead of 1,000, I'm going to just bump it to 800. I'm going to drop down 200 millimeters per second. I am also going to bump my power up to 90. So we're making two adjustments. Once again, guess and check, and I did like the engrave. So friends, we're gonna grab our goggles. I'm gonna turn on the wicked cool fan system again. Let's get my four bars of wind, and let's hit start. Alrighty, so let's see what we got this time. Those guess and check numbers. Oh, we are so close. Alright, so you can see we are almost poking through. Uh, I bet you if I took my X-Acto knife, I could cut through that to finish. I may try that in a minute. The dog on it, let's see if we can get this little dude to cut without us having to use that X-Acto knife. Alright friends, so what I have done is I have changed the speed from 800 to 600. Friends, I have already framed it. I have grabbed the goggles. Let's hit start, turn on those fans, and see what we made. Alrighty friends, so let's test this once again. Oh, oh yes! Bingo friends, we have a cutout Happy Crab with double layer cardboard. Now friends, this is super cool to me because this is much more sturdy than the normal cardboard and being able to build things like this is pretty slick. Now I would have to change my projects from four millimeter to six millimeter tabs, but that is pretty awesome. All right, friends, so I quickly cut out two more of these because I wanted you to see they will actually balance eyeballs on claws of the other crab. I always think that's one of the coolest things ever. Of course, remember, I printed these out of cardboard, so if you touch them, you get your fingers black. But if you cut these into wood, they're actually a ton of fun and cute little decorations. So friends, there you are, another project with the P10. It absolutely crushed it, cutting through the double cardboard, which I had not done before. Had to adjust my speeds. Friends, right there you saw, it is guess and check. Go with numbers you kinda know, and then just keep working through it. Of course, make sure you always have your safety glasses. And of course, we also got to test my new fan system. I am so happy. Vented all that exhaust. I'm gonna be able to play out here with stuff, and I think it is just gonna be wicked cool. Of course, friends, if you are interested in the laser, there will be a link down below. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.